This is the future. is the future. Ah, what a wonderful morning. Welcome guys, welcome to my channel. And this is... What the... Okay. Well, sunlight kills monsters. Check. Ah... Uh, Okay, welcome to Crypt Zone. Welcome to my channel. And this is Minecraft. And there's actually a whole story behind this thing. So, um, before we get started, check this out. So, before we start, I just want to thank you guys for watching this video. And I hope you're going to enjoy it. Give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. And remember to hit that bell icon so you can get notified of my further uploads. Feel free to check out my updated website and or join my Facebook group to get behind the scenes info. Okay, I'm sure most of you guys know what Minecraft is. If you don't know what Minecraft is, you either are not a gamer or you have been living under a rock. And this is one of the games that I actually truly told myself I will never play because the graphics looks crap. Yes, I'm one of those very vain guys that likes good eye candy and lots of action and so on and so forth. And when I first saw this game, it reminded me of a PS1 or even older console type of game with all the pixelation. Alas, here I am, addicted to this game. And uh, mainly because of all the things you can do. Uh, you can let your creativity go bonkers. So, while this came to be as my sons decided they want to play Minecraft. And they were busy playing it on the cell phone. And I saw the imaginations opening up. You know, the creativity started showing. And my boys like to build things and make things and build puzzles and stuff like that. So I decided, well... Since they are fighting about the cell phone and they want to play the game, let's load it onto the PC. It's free on Game Pass, and that's what I did. I uploaded the game. Of course, I also had to um, learn how to play the game for their sake, you know. Uh, I had to find out the mechanics, see how the game works, so I can help them out to play the game. And also, at the same time, see what this game is about. So as we're walking through my first creations, uh, this is actually a fish tank that my son built me, which I just kind of modified and fixed so it looks more natural. Um, so we are playing at the moment in a adventure mode. This is not survival, so I don't have to craft, I don't have to mine, I don't have to eat. Nothing can hurt me, I can kill everything of course. You can fly like Superman and Everything you can ever dream of is in the inventory. So you don't have to create anything. In this mode, you explore and you build. So this is what I've built since I started the game a few days ago. I've got mm -hmm. my beehive and a lot of flowers to make my bees happy. And I built this house. Um, thinking that since I can build something, let me build my kind of dream house. Or something that I would really like to actually live in. You guys will notice, especially for the older players and the more proficient ones, that there's a lot of mistakes here. I'm still learning the game, but I think I got better at it. I was truly surprised about all the things you can actually do in this game. And uh, not to use the word realistic, but how natural everything actually works. I mean, trees grow, grass grow. If the sheep or something eat the grass, you can see the grass dying and growing again after a while. Um, things are happening. So this is my two boys' room. This is my one son's room. The other one you saw before was uh, Christian's room. Then I decided, let's build a little trap door here. And I've put a secret hideout. 
at the bottom, which is not really that secret, eh, since you see the trapdoor. This was supposed to be a place where you can put some goodies, but as you guys can see, I'm still practicing at this point and learning how the game works. Then I build a upstairs, which was quite interesting. There's my bed, and I've got a nice big bedroom here. We'll get to that door a bit later. This was added later on. I placed, uh, I built a, a balcony. If you want a nice view over everything, you can go out and check everything. And just close the door. And this is my secret staircase to my lapa slash party spot or place where we can have a nice chat. You know, we South Africans like to bry and like to party. So there's my jukebox and in my jukebox next to it is my LP collection. Very nice. And if you come out to the open side, we've got a, uh, what's it like an oven and a rotisserie and a bry spot and whatever, anything you can use to make food. And it's just the same shame. I, it's just a shame I can't make uh, tables and chairs. I would have put some tables and chairs up there to make this more look like a nice social spot. Uh, and of course, I don't know how lights work in the game yet, and I, I don't like torches all that much. So you'll see all these glowstones everywhere in the house. Um, and like there, there's a glowstone to give us light when it's dark. Then I also built myself a little workshop here at the back. Don't worry, just a bit of a glitch. And uh, what I placed in the workshop is all the tools that you can find in the game. As you can see, I've got an anvil there. Oops, there's a stone cutter. I've got like uh, furnaces, fletching tables, crafting tables, whatever there is, and uh, an anvil there in the corner. Um, yeah, this is my workshop. Um, I think once I get to know the game quite well and how everything and all the elements work, I will apply. I will try to play the game in um, survival mode. We'll see when we get there. And this is my magma rocks. Why would I have magma rocks everywhere? Well, to protect my house, because at night the ghouls and goblins comes out, all the monsters comes out, and uh, that burns them to death. Introducing the great walkway of the king. Of course you all know who the king is of this world. So why the bridge? Well, you can make a compass and you do have a map. But I decided that if I get lost and I don't know how to find my house, why struggle when I can build a bridge to go to each and every point that is of interest to me? So I can just stay on the bridge and get to my places without getting lost. Because what my son did is he took a portal orb or something and he started porting all over the map and I couldn't find my house. I had to restart the whole map or the whole game because I didn't know at that point how a compass and map works. Introducing my castle. This is God Houses. We've got four. We have a bridge. And then we've got the castle walls. Now this is a current project that I'm still busy with. And this is what I'll share with you guys over the next few weeks or days. Look at my lava fall and my waterfall. This is one of the reasons why I chose this location. It'll make it difficult for the enemies to attack me. And uh, also note that there is these vast cave systems underneath this mountain and underneath my castle, which I discovered as I was going through. So I am at the moment busy building my castle, and I'm going to show you guys this. Um, uh, Sorry about the noise, it's just, uh, there's nothing I can do about it. Look at this cave system here. While I was busy building the walls for the castle, I accidentally dug into the system. So you'll see here at the bottom the magma rocks that I placed to protect my walls. But look at this place. This is huge. And this also made me wonder, can you dig straight through the planet? Is the game designed that if you start digging in a straight line, 
and you keep on digging that you will get out on the other side back into the open air and have a totally different world or is it just like a open world flat surface area and you can't go down that's something we'll have to explore isn't it I planted these trees because there was a piece of mountain here that I chopped out and it took me almost three hours just to get rid of the mountain that was here and then I planted these saplings and I was so surprised to see how huge these trees grow they're huge there's still two saplings that need to grow so my current mission that I have left is to chop out this whole piece of mountain I want at least five meters of space between my wall and the mountain because obviously you don't want the bad guys or enemies to jump from the mountain into your castle walls and I also had a different idea it takes too long to chip away the mountain so if I wanted to chip away this whole mountain to make a castle can you guys imagine how long it's going to take so my idea is to build the castle in the mountain and make the mountain part of the castle this is almost like flying a drone, hey? Those nice aerial drone shots that you get. So yeah, this is a vast, vast world. There's a lot to do, a lot to see, a lot to explore. At this moment, I'm just concentrating on finishing my castle. But once the castle is done, I think I would like to go and explore this entire world and see what secrets and what treasures it holds because I've even seen the other day while my son was playing on his island that there's mermaids and there's just sunken treasures and weird stuff so oh let me also show you guys this I have a secret cave escape route if something happens well if you have a diving kit I think in real life you would drown by now because it's quite a fast swim but you can swim through this cave system and get out here and run a bit this way uh, upwards swim out to safety and when you get out you are far from home and you can escape if anyone tries to attack you this really makes your imagination go wild and I would like you guys to join me so feel free if you want to join me on this exploration and adventure let me show you guys how I build my castle and how I build other stuff and we'll go and explore all these islands and see what we find. And uh, write in the comments whether you guys want to see me physically build the stuff or do you just want to see the completed projects or do you want daily updates. Anyway guys, until next time, have a great day. Cheers.